Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can save and download your Twitch past streams. So you usually call this VODs, video on demand. That's your past streams that you can then save and download or just use to publish on your Twitch channel or you can just make separate videos out of them. So this is really useful if you want to sort create short form content or clip content out of your streams. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So you want to hop onto the Twitch website. You need to do this on a PC or a laptop and then go onto your profile on the top right and click onto creator dashboard. Once we're here, we want to go to settings and then stream. And right here, you can see the VOD settings. So the video on demand settings, that's where we want to go. And you can see store past broadcasts. We want to turn this on and this automatically saves the broadcast for seven days or for 14 days for affiliates. So you have to be quick to then download them or do what you want to do with them because it's only saved for seven days. Next, you have another option once you select this, always publish VODs. So this is automatically turned on now, but we don't want this. So you can have it on, of course, if you want to automatically publish your past streams on your Twitch channel, but then everyone can see them. And for example, if you're just doing a test stream, five minute test stream, everyone can see this then. I would really not recommend turning this on. So leave this one off and then you're good to go. You, you store, you, and then you're good to go. Your past broadcasts will be stored and I'll show you where to find them now. So we want to go back. So once you're back on the starting page, go onto your profile again, click on video producer, and now we can see the videos. So for example, I only have a trailer here, but if you have the option on that your streams are saved, they will show up here for up to seven days, of course. And now you click onto the stream, you want to download and click right here on the three dots. And now you can click on download, you can rewatch it, you can edit it. Maybe you want to cut out the start, the finish, maybe some weird moments you want to cut out, you can unpublish it or you can delete it. So you can do all of these things. And this is really useful for people that want to get into clipping streams and then uploading this as short form content on TikTok or Instagram Reels or Shorts. So this is really useful. Definitely turn your bots on on Twitch. This is the way how to do it. And then you can download them right here. If you have any more questions, just comment down below. I'll be happy to help you. And make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you like this video.